In this video, I'll be going over um, some articles or sections of articles that I think you need to focus on when you're studying uh, for the NEC code for the Power PE exam. Now, if you're like me, you probably don't um, use NEC code on a day-to-day -day basis at your job. So when I was preparing for the PE exam is when I first started actually learning about the NEC code and um, pretty much understanding how it's organized and literally um, knowing about it in general. Generally, speaking. I mean, I knew about it, but I don't use it every day, so I really don't care. But, um, you know, when you're when you're doing uh, the PE exam, you don't have a lot of time. And the exam is not about the NEC code, it's about sections of NEC code. So if you if you look at the book, it's like 1500, 1400 page book. It's pretty thick. So there's no way you can go over every single article. There's no way you're going to go every, you know, go over every single section of the book. So you just need to know the essentials, things that you really, really have to focus on, if anything. I'm not saying these are the only things, but you really need to um, put a, a tab or put a sticker on these articles that I think you will most likely see problems on them, if anything. So start with articles 90 and 190 is the introduction and 100 is the definition. So just go over article 90, you know, the scope of the NEC code, what's covered and what's not covered. And for definitions, um, look at these and make sure you understand them. You know, like bonding and bonded, make sure you know the difference, grounded and grounding, dwelling unit, branch circuit. Um, I'm not saying these are the only things that you need to know as far as definition, but at least know these at the very least. And tab, 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 I put that in there just to make sure that you, you know, that's pretty much all you have to do because there's no way, you know, you know where everything is. So it's very important that you tab them in a very organized manner so that um, you know where to go when you're given a problem. And don't forget the table of contents and the index page. I mean, sometimes you're given a problem, you don't know which, which article it is, or, you know, you forgot to put a stick on one of the the essential articles or something, I don't know. Because, you know, it, if you don't know what's going to happen during an exam, right? So you just expect these to be on there, but you don't know, you really don't know. So sometimes they can throw at you a problem that you've never heard before, or you never really went through the article. So you can go in the back of the book at the index page, you want to quickly get there, quickly look at the keyword and you know, look at quickly go over the articles and answer the questions and table of contents is the same thing as well. So at least that gives you the title, which is a start. So I had a tab on both of these um, to make sure I can get there really, really fast. On article one then, requirements for electrical installations. If anything, have a tab on 110.14 Charlie, temperature limitations in table 110.26 alpha 1 working spaces so again I'm, I'm gonna be sort of repetitive here I'm not saying only study these sections but if you didn't have a tab on these have a tab on them if you didn't have a sticker have a sticker on them if you didn't have a note on them have a note on them because there's it's just a, too much it's just a lot of information on every single article to the point where you don't even know where to start and it may be overwhelming so at the very least um, know these two. If you want to add more, add more, but at least have these. An article 210, branch circuits. Um, look at article 210.8 and point twelve. GFCI and AFCIs, 210, 19, Alpha and Bravo, and um, there is a article section 24 on article 210. And there's also a table called um, 210.24 uh, Brain Circuit Summary, so you make sure you want to go over that as well and put a tab on them. As you may see some problems referencing these, these sections of Article 210. Article 220, um, Brain Circuit Feeder and Service Calculations. Uh, table 220.12. Um, article or section, I mean, I'm using article and section interchangeably, it's kind of the same thing. Section 14 on Article 220, 
um, 43 Alpha and Bravo and um, 54 Demand Factors. So make sure you tab those as well. Uh, so Article 220 is a very important, um, very important article. But 240 is even more important. Overcurrent protection. Uh, this is very big um, on the exam. Overcurrent protection of conductors. So 240.4 Bravo Charlie and Delta sections. So um, I would recommend going over those, reading them, tabbing them, because you will see problems on overcurrent protection, or at least most likely. Um, let me use. Let me be careful here. <laughs> most likely going to see some problems on overcurrent protection. So. Make sure you you um, put a sticker or put a tab on um, this section of Article 240. 250, grounding and bonding. Um, articles 250.56 or section 56, um, table 66 as well, and um, table 122. So if you didn't have these on your notes, make sure you have them on, on your notes now. Um, very important. Uh, and Article 300, wiring, wiring methods. Um, there's only one thing that I've seen in there that's important to to remember or to put a tab on is Table 300.5, minimum cover requirements. So you may or may not see problems on it, but at least have that in there so you can quickly access it. 310, uh, very, very big on the exam. Uh, this is like 99.9% .9 chances of you seeing a problem where you require 310. Um, impacity tables, temperature correction factor tables, you know, your adjustment factor table, um, you know, your tables 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, your impacity tables pretty much. So go over those t uh, tables and, and just quickly look at the differences between them because, um, you may be given a problem and God forbid you use, you know, the wrong table, you will get uh, the wrong answer right away and you don't want that. So know the differences between between those two. It may be a temperature difference. It may be something else. I mean, just look at the tiles of, your, of those tables and understand. Sometimes reading it may not tell you the difference between them. So you have to know, you have to understand, you know, what exactly uh, the table is about so that you can go and use the right table. So Article 310, those tables uh, um, towards the end, not towards the end, it depends on which which um, any C code book year you're using, but um, you know, those impacity tables, I'm just calling them impacity tables because you know, they may change titles between versions of any C code, but um, your impacity tables, your correction factor tables, those are very important. So put a tab on them so you can quickly access them. And if you notice, I'm skipping, there are some um, articles I'm sp uh, skipping because uh, based on my experience and based on what I've seen, they don't usually show up. Those articles do not usually show up on the exam. So these are the ones that for the most part and from experience, from talking to people who have taken it and based on problems that I've solved, these are most likely uh, the, the biggest articles that you need to focus on as far as the exam is concerned. So 430 is one of them too on mortars. Uh, there's a couple of sections for 430, uh, 430, 22. Make sure when you see continuous, you multiply by 125. Um, for 30, 24, and all those tables also from 247 all the way to 251. Um, article 43024 talks about, you know, when you're given different motors, uh, more than one motor, calculating the opacity as well. So you need to know how to do that. Very important. So put a tab on 24. Still on uh, Article 430, 430, 20, uh, 430, 32, uh, overload protection. So make sure you use the FLA and not the FLC, the full load current. So make sure you use the, uh, I mean, FLA, FLA is the same thing, but nameplate versus what's on the, you know, the, the full load current on the table. So make sure you put a, a section, uh, you highlight it or, or something. Very important section on 430. I've referenced that 430, 32 a lot when I was preparing for the exam. And I've seen problems where I have used 430, 32 as well. 
um, what did I say here? Uh, 430, 51 overrides, article 240. And remember, 240 is uh, your current protection. So anything on 51 overrides for 240. Still on motors. It's a big section on motors. Um, 430.52, right? Um, 430.52, Charlie 1, and then 62 as well. So um, make sure you put a tab on it. I'm repeating that. If anything, if you didn't have it, have it now. Because, you know, there's chances, high chances of it that you will reference this uh, during the exam. Uh, article 460, capacitors with induction motors. Very... Um, here uh, for 60.8 Alpha Bravo Charlie sections and um, for 60.9 uh, rating or setting of motor overload device. So highlight those as well and understand them. Uh, so ch chapter nine tables. Um, so there are a few tables in the back of the book. You may not need to know all of them, but if anything, go over it a little bit just look at the titles and know how to use solve one or two problems on them because sometimes you will see a problem where to answer the problem you're not going to need an article but you need a table in the back so but if anything table nine is the most important table i think where you know you'll need it for your voltage drops some capacity questions some conductor tape uh, questions and whatnot so make sure you you understand table nine how to use it practice a lot on table nine uh, it's a very important reference table that you will need during the exam. I'll tell you that right now. I can't discuss the content of the exam, but uh, there's like a good chance that you will need table nine. So understand it. So pretty much that's it. Um, like I said earlier, I'm not going over the entire NEC code. So the, que the, the exam is not about the NEC code book. It's about sections of it. So this is not an exam on NEC. So it's not like, you know, you need to know everything about NEC code book. Just sections of it. Just understand the essentials, quickly solve the problem and, you know, get your PE. So, uh, but if you have, if you really want to take some time or if you have like a lot of time, you can go to Mike Holt's videos that helped me a lot as well. He's pretty good at what he does. He knows the code like 